everyone, it's Daisy Bell Arbanyaga and in this video, we're going to go over a nursing assessment of the cranial nerves. The first thing you want to do is to provide privacy to your patient. Next is to perform hand hygiene. And lastly, tell to your patient what you will be doing. And now, let's get started. So, we're gonna test the olfactory nerve 1, which is the sense of smell. Okay, Saira, you have to close your eyes and I'm gonna put something in front of your nose. Breath in and smell and you tell me what you smell. Vix. So, this is Vix. So, that cranial nerve is intact. To test cranial nerve 2, we're gonna be doing two tests. First is to test the peripheral vision field by doing the confrontation visual field test. Okay, Saira, I want you to cover up your left eye and I will be covering up my right eye and you tell me how many fingers you will see in the upper and lower part of visual field just by looking at my eye. So, here we go. One, two. Now, let's proceed on the opposite side. Please cover up your right eye and I will be covering up my left eye. And please tell me what, how many fingers you will see at the upper and in the lower visual field just by looking at my eye. Three, four. Okay, very good. So, now we're going to test the visual acuity using the ceiling chart. So, what we're going to do is to look at the chart and read the lowest lines that you can read but first you have to cover up your right eye and read it for me D E F B O T E C. okay very good cover up your left eye and please read it for me D E F B O T E C. okay very good both eyes D E F B O T E C. okay very good Okay, so she can read it. That means that she has a 20-20 vision. This means that she can read the same line of letters at 20 feet that the person with normal vision. Now, we're going to test the radial nerve 3, which is the oculomotor, the 4, which is the trochlear, and 6, which is the sense. And we're gonna do several tests to check their functions. So, I'm going to hold this for about 90 to 40 inches away from the patient's nose. So, Saira, what I want you to do is to keep your head still. Don't move your head and just use your eyes to watch. So, here we go. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to see how reactive the pupils are to light. And to do that, we're gonna have the patient stare off at the distant object that helps dilate those pupils and we're just gonna shine light at it at this side. Focus. Okay, first trick. Then we're gonna go over at the other side and do the same again. Okay, focus. Now we're gonna check for accommodation again. So we're gonna have her stare off at a distant object that helps dilate the pupils and we're gonna take a pen light so you're just gonna slowly move it inwards the nose like this and what we're looking for is for those pupils to constrict they accommodate in the eye curves while looking at the pen light so Saira I don't want you to move your head or anything I just keep it still and just follow this pen light Okay, very good. Next, I'm going to go over cranial nerve 5, which is the trigeminal nerve, which nerve is responsible for many things like massification. So, what I'm gonna have to do is to clench your teeth, like bite down, and I'm going to feel the masseter muscle, which is right there. There should be a nice clear bowl, and then feel the temporal muscle. Now, I'm going to do to also test the nervous. Have her try to open his mouth against resistance. So, try to do that for me. So, she can do that. 
while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and look for her facial expressions and to test the cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. So, Syra, can you close your eyes tightly and open them up? Okay, smile for me. Frown. And puff up your cheeks. So, she did that so that cranial nerve is intact. Next, we're gonna test the cranial nerve 8, which is the vestibulocochlear nerve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include one of her ears and whisper two words on the both sides. And she needs to tell me what I said. So are you ready? Corn dog. And panada. So she did that. So that cranial nerve is intact. Next, what we're gonna do is to test the cranial nerve 9, which is the glossal pharyngeal. So, what are we going to do is say a, uh, and then is the glossal reply. And cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus, is intact because she's able to tell me without the hoarseness and she's able to swallow. Next, we're gonna have to test the cranial nerve 11, which is the accessory nerve. So, what I want you to do is to move your head side to side, up and down, and try to shrug against my resistance. And she did that with ease, and that cranial nerve is intact. Next, we're gonna have to test the cranial nerve 12, which is the hypoglossal nerve. What I want you to do is stick out your tongue and move side to side. And she did that with ease, and so that that cranial nerve is intact. Now that wraps up how to perform a nursing assessment of the cranial nerves. Thank you and God bless.